Thank you, Megan, for joining us today on this Happy Friday interview, uh, going over these different principles uh, that we have for the Happy Friday Committee, which is fearless, resilient, intuitive, determined, appreciative, and youthful. And starting uh, with fearless, I want to know how this word uh, fearless, uh, you apply it in your everyday life. And we'll work our way down with these principles, but just starting with fearless first. Okay. <clears throat> so fearless to me is um, approaching things or taking actions that you typically wouldn't feel like you have the courage or um, confidence to perform. Um, so something in my life um, that I approach with fearlessness is my current job as a training coordinator. Um, coming into this role, it was was not a role that was developed before. So it was kind of, um, it was nerve wracking to get into the role and, and figure out what were going to be my daily duties and how I was going to um, create this role and make it a successful one. So approaching that fearlessly helped. Excellent, excellent. Uh, the next uh, principle is resilient. Uh, how does that apply to you in your everyday life or in your personal life or uh, how does that work overall? Um, resilient. So um, especially in this industry, you have to be resilient towards people's reactions. And even in daily life, um, not everyone is going to have the same mindset as you, the same values, principles, things like that. And, and if you approach things um, with resiliency, you will it will allow yourself to let things roll off of you and and not stick, you know, like they say, um, whatever bounces off of me sticks to you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, somebody <laughs> used that before. Roll off, <laughs> they, you know, deter you from what you what you have going on in your life and your own values. Be resilient. Excellent, excellent. Uh, the next word is intuitive. Oh, intuitive. How does that apply? Intuition, intuitive. How does that apply to you? Um, I guess in my everyday life, I practice being intuitive and practice my intuition. So I am constantly, um, I'm spiritual. And so I, I see things as signs all the time. And so I use my intuition to help guide me in my life, guide my choices, my decisions, my feelings, and my emotions. Um, so I like to say that I'm very in tune um, with my intuition so that I can, um, be a better human in my daily life. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Uh, the next word, and all these roll together, all these principles roll together. Uh, determination. Determination. So <clears throat> I have to stay determined every day that I'm going to complete a project. <laughs> and, <laughs> it's a, and it's a lifetime away. Um, so just being determined in your life to accomplish things, take actions. Um, and and to stay on your path, be de determined to, you know, stay true to yourself. Excellent, excellent. Uh, the, uh, as far as when you say staying true to yourself, what do you mean by that? Staying true to your um, your beliefs and values. Um, you know, and every the, people take people and try to influence you in your daily life. And so if you, if you keep that determination and stay on your own path, you know, then you will, you won't be influenced by others as much. Excellent. Excellent. So you have to know who you are first. Yes. <laughs> <That's Excellent. all. laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You have to know who you are. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, the next word is appreciative. Appreciative. Um, I say this kind of goes hand in hand about um, with being grateful, grateful for just having the breath that you breathe, you know, a body that you can move in, um, you know, that that plays into my daily life and, and how I look at the world. You know, uh, you have to be grateful that you're in the position that you're at, that you can put food on the table, that you have a, a roof over your head. You know, there are so many that are less fortunate. So being appreciative of where you are in life and what is given to you is is really important. Absolutely. Absolutely. 
And the last principle is, is youthful. What does that mean to you? Oh, I, I mean, I immediately thought of like laughing and <laughs> 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 I'm being playful and, and remembering that age is just a number and, um, you know, not, not being so serious. They, they, everybody needs a little bit of, you know, a childlike presence in their, in, in their everyday life. You know, you need to lighten, lighten the mood um, and be useful. Just enjoy life. And Absolutely. Absolutely. So out of all these principles, uh, which principle means the most to you and why? <clears throat> um. I would say appreciation. So being appreciative and that kind of ties into being grateful. Um, I wake up every morning and say affirmations and I like to begin my day with saying what I'm grateful for, what, you know, what is in my life? I mean, my mom and I will exchange texts and we'll say, what are you grateful for today? And I'm like, I'm grateful for you. I'm grateful for a supportive family. So, you know, those, that one really resonates a lot with me. So. Wow. Excellent. 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 That's a good idea. And people, <laughs> that's a good idea. You know, my, my mother does the same thing. <laughs> she not so much. She'll send me something positive or something, you know, something that she has got from somebody yeah. else. So yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. So that ends the questions. Um, and I want to thank you for coming on and doing this, agreeing to do this um, and always remember to have a happy Friday. <laughs> it <is> Friday. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so you have an excellent day. Okay, Megan. Thanks. Thanks. You too. Uh, thank you. Bye.